Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Today we're taking a look at another Bear Creek Arsenal complete upper assembly. We've already taken a look at the 450 Bushmaster, the 50 Beowulf, and the 458 SOCOM. I requested that they send me over a 350 Legend so that we could take a look at it. And the reason I requested the 350 Legend is we're getting mighty close to deer season here in Kentucky. And I know a lot of other states are or getting close to, or some of you guys may already be having deer season. I'm not sure, I don't know all the laws to all the other states, but I do know that some of the states have adopted laws allowing the use of straight wall rifle cartridges, where before maybe you could only use a shotgun slug or something like that. And that's where the 350 legend comes in. It was designed to meet those requirements for people in states that were limited to straight wall rifle cartridges, this gives them a, another option. So that's, a, that's one reason I wanted to take a look at this complete upper assembly. Now I'm in Kentucky. We can use pretty much any center fire cartridge for deer season. We're not, we're not limited like that. But still, I find it an interesting cartridge and just wanted to take a look at it. The beauty of these complete upper assemblies from Bear Creek Arsenal is they're inexpensive, number one, but you can snap them onto your existing AR-15 lower. So all you have to do is just pin any of these complete upper assemblies to your AR-15 lower and you've got a whole new caliber. Of course, you'll need to use the, the proper magazine. The 350 Legend requires a specific magazine made just for the 350 Legend, this rib here in the front, as you can see on a 5.56 mag, this, this front rib is really deep. And you can't double stack the 350 Legend in the magazine with that deep rib. So the 350, Le 350 Legend specific magazines have that rib shallowed out so it doesn't interfere with the, the loading of the cartridge or the feeding of the cartridge. The good thing is that it does double stack into these magazines. So a 10 round 350 Legend magazine looks like a 10 round 556 magazine. Whereas a 450 Bushmaster, 458 SOCOM, 50 Beowulf is only going to give you three or four rounds in the same size magazine. So it's, it's a disadvantage that you have to use a specific 350 Legend magazine or you can modify you know, there's been people out there modifying their magazines to work with the 350 Legend. If you, they're, they're cutting the ribs out of the P-Mags and things like that, but I don't think you can modify the steel magazines or aluminum magazines to work with the 350 Legend. So it's a, it's a disadvantage that you have to have a specific magazine, but an advantage over the other big bores is that it does double stack. So a 10 round magazine is gonna net you 10 rounds. So let's take a look at this upper assembly. Got your spiral cut flash hider. No crush washer. No worry about indexing the flash hider. You can just take it off and stick it right back on. M-lock rail or handguard. Got your QD sling mounts, both forward and aft. Picatinny rail, full length thing that's different with this upper than my other uppers is this one has a split rail, what they're calling a split rail handguard. These two screws right here clamp the handguard onto the barrel nut. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Of course your upper receiver itself is a full featured upper receiver, shell deflector, forward assist, dust cover. Take a look here at the just your standard charging handle, bolt carrier. The 350 Legend uses the same, see if I can get this camera to focus, uses the same bolt as the 556. It has the same case head. So you can use your, same, your existing bolt carrier group. If you've got a 556, actually all you have to do is swap out the barrel and use the proper magazine and you can run 350 Legend. The thing that's so appealing with the Bear Creek Arsenal complete upper assemblies though is they're so inexpensive that it, it just makes sense just to buy the complete upper assembly and pin and play rather than having to build, you know, 
remove a barrel and replace a barrel and, and, and go that route. It's just these on their website right now, today I checked this specific 16 inch 350 Legend complete upper assembly goes for about 230 bucks plus shipping. That is really, really inexpensive. I don't see how they do it to be honest. But if you use code Buffaloes Outdoors as a coupon code at checkout, just one word, Buffaloes Outdoors, you'll get 5% off and free shipping. That puts this at 219 bucks shipped. That's unreal. Most of the people that are selling these 350 Legend complete upper assemblies are jacking up the prices because they're kind of a hot item right now. But Bear Creek Arsenal is just uh, they're selling them just like any of their other uppers. You get a really good deal on them. So let's take a look. This boat is just a, just a standard boat carrier group. We've looked at them before. I don't want to bore you guys to death. Uh, I haven't had any problems with any of the boat carrier groups in any of these. So let's look at this split rail since it's different. You notice these, all three of my others have the six bolts or screws that screw it to the barrel nut and hold the hand guard rail in place. So let's, let's look, what's the advantage of the split rail here? I wanna remove these two screws. So the rail just pulls off. Got your barrel nut there. With the split rail, you don't have all these screws going into the barrel nut, so you don't have to worry about indexing the barrel nut when you torque it on if you're doing a build you just have to line your gas tube up the rail itself can slide on and these tabs i like these tabs on this rail it's got these tabs right here that stick out from the picatinny rail on the top and that's going to line it up with the rail on the receiver that just makes it simple. If you're running a, look at that, it just snaps right on, lines right up. If you're running a side, uh, a set of sights, you've got your rear sight here and your front sight here, that's gonna line up perfectly every time you remove your hand guard and snap it back on. That's gonna line right back up perfectly. You're still gonna be sighted in. Whereas with these other ones, if you don't have this perfectly lined up, you'll end up canting your hand guard just a little bit. So I think that's pretty cool with the split rail. We'll go ahead and put these screws back in here. That's really, I don't want to get too technical and too boring since we've covered this stuff with the other uppers. So let's go ahead and get to shooting. For those of you guys that don't know where the 350 Legend falls, it's kind of a medium bore cartridge. This is a 223. This is your 350 Legend that we're going to be shooting today. This is 450 Bushmaster, 458 SOCOM, and 50 Beowulf. So you can kind of see side by side how they look. And of course, as I already mentioned, the 350 and the 223 use the same size case head. This is the ammunition that I'm going to be using today. It's Winchester PowerPoint 180 grain. They offer this in 150 grain as well, but they didn't have any in stock at my local store. I picked up the 180 grain, and these were about $16 a box. They also make Target ammunition for like $10 a box which makes the 350 Legend more economical to get out and target shoot with than say the 450 Bushmaster, 458, or, or the 50 Beowulf, especially for the guy who doesn't reload and shoots factory ammunition. This stuff, you can actually get out and play a little bit and get familiar with your rifle. The 180 grain doesn't have as flat as, as a trajectory as the 150, it does list it as 2100 feet per second at the muzzle, but that is from a 20 inch barrel. Of course, we're not shooting from a 20 inch barrel. We've only got a 16 inch barrel. 
So it'll be interesting to see what kind of numbers that I get out of the 16 inch Bear Creek Arsenal over my chronograph here. Let's hop over to the chronograph and get it done. All right, since I was gonna be shooting over the chronograph from only 10 feet away, I just stuck my SIG Romeo 5 red dot onto the 350 Legend upper and just used it to shoot over the chronograph. I didn't zero it or anything. Okay, so I got an average of about 1,960 feet per second with these 180 grain power points. But the impressive part was the standard deviation. I only had a standard deviation of about 8.9 feet per second. That's pretty impressive for factory loaded ammunition. <clears throat> now, velocity alone, an average velocity by itself, doesn't really tell us anything. It's that standard deviation that's important, that SD number. Uh, an SD of nine is really good, nine feet per second. If you tell me your ammunition is averaging 2,000 feet per second and that's the only number you give me, does that mean that some shots are 1,000 feet per second? Some shots are 3,000 feet per second, so it averages 2,000 feet per second. I'm just making those numbers up, but that would be horrible, inconsistent ammunition. So you need something other than just the average velocity to tell you how consistent your ammunition is. And that's what the SD is for. Um, the lower the SD, the more consistent the ammunition. So I took those numbers I got from the chronograph, that average velocity, and I punched it in along with several other numbers into a maximum point blank range calculator. I like to use a six inch target for a deer hunting load. A lot of people use an eight inch, I use a six inch. And my maximum point blank range on a six inch target will be 190 yards with that load. So from the muzzle to 190 yards, I don't have to use any sort of holdover or anything like that. Uh, just hold dead on and I'm gonna be within that six inch range. I'll either be three inches high or three inches low, depending on where I'm hitting it. In order for me to accomplish that, I need to be about three inches high at 100 yards. So I zeroed at 28 yards, that would be my, my near zero. I zeroed at 28, then I back, I'm gonna back up here to 100, uh, which I've got set up right now. I've got a target set up and I'm fixing to go up here to 100 and shoot this target. So we'll see if I'm three inches high. I was in the bullseye at 28 yards, but I wanna verify that. I don't, I don't just wanna zero with that near zero and go with it. I wanna verify that my calculator is right and my numbers are correct and I will really be about three inches high at 100 yards. So we're gonna go back here and shoot that. What I've got here, if you hear steel ringing, it's because I've got this steel plate back here. Um, you can see I've been shooting already where I shot that 28 yard zero pieces of bullet. Uh, I use that steel plate. I'm shooting into a backstop. I don't want you to think that's the only thing stopping my bullets, but I'm shooting into a, I've got a huge backstop back here and I'm shooting into that steel plate just to keep from damaging my trees and things back here before I get to the backstop. So if you hear steel ringing on a paper target, <laughs> that's what the deal is. I didn't want you to be confused. With that being said, let's load up, go up here to 100 yards and see what kind of group we can get. Oh, and by the way, for this accuracy test, I did go ahead and pull the Redfield Revolution off of the 450 Bushmaster and put it onto the 350 Legend. I really like these Redfield Revolution scopes. Um, probably my favorite under $200 rifle scope.
So here's a look at that target. The online calculator that I used was pretty much right on. Each of those squares is an inch. So I'm roughly three inches high at 100 yards, maybe a little bit less than that. Those four shots are all within an inch, these. But I pulled that one or threw it, and it brought us out to about an inch and a half for the entire group, which is not bad, not bad. I'll take it. You know, I'm just an old hillbilly laying out here in the backyard shooting at targets, so that's pretty good shooting. And we, we didn't have perfect conditions today either. The wind was blowing a little bit. Uh, you know, I could make excuses all day long, but the bottom line is no deer out there within a couple hundred yards is going to be able to tell the difference with that group, whether you're shooting a dime-sized group or a, about a three-inch group. It's all a minute of deer. The 350 Legends best selling points from my point of view, and remember, I don't live in a state where I'm restricted to straight wall cases, is its use in the AR-15, particularly that it is a medium bore that actually double stacks in the magazines. It's low recoil. It's relatively low pricing for a deer hunting cartridge. And oh yeah, it kills deer just fine. Okay guys, so I gotta admit to you, I've only got about a hundred rounds through this gun at this point, through this upper. So keep that in mind as you, as you watch my video. I don't have a, you know, a thousand round count to show you guys or you know how it's going to wear and all that stuff so more of a just an out of the box what to expect kind of video for you i do have 10 more rounds here this will bring me up to 110 rounds Let's see if we can put some on that steel over there man he hits that steel hard The recoil is uh, not bad at all. In fact, I'd tell you, if you want one of these big bores, get it in the AR-15 platform. You know, that's uh, it's America's rifle, man. And it's the buffer spring system, the gas system, all that stuff. Uh, makes it a soft shooting gun. Makes for a better shooting experience. All right, so I guess I need to bring this video to a close. I want to thank Bear Creek Arsenal for sending this upper over. They've been really good to work with, guys. They've never asked anything of me other than to give my honest opinion. I haven't, I haven't had them give me a deadline ever or give me talking points or, you know, nothing. They just, they send me the uppers. I give my honest opinion to you guys, and and that's it. The uh, There are a lot of companies out there that I have to turn away. Number one, I'm very short on time, so I can't deal with somebody that wants to give me deadlines or this and that, so uh, that's automatic. Just I decline anything, any product that they attach uh, stipulations to, I decline it. Bear Creek Arsenal has never given me any stipulations whatsoever with their products and i i think that's pretty pretty respectable um they're a budget upper i review them with that in mind you know i'm not i don't expect it to have the perfect finish i don't expect everything to be polished and uh you know the most high-end components it's a budget upper and they seem to work pretty well uh, as you can see they shoot plenty accurate for uh, for the price point i just find them very hard to beat uh, I, and I, you guys have seen me be critical at the, the 458 SOCOM we've had problems with out of the box. We've got it running great now. Uh, don't have any problems with it whatsoever, but out of the box we had some issues. When I did that video, you guys saw everything that happened. All the uh, malfunctions, all the, all the problems we went through, the working it out, getting it running. You know, and Bear Creek has worked with me since, so they didn't have a problem with that. And like I said, that's, that's hard to find in today's time. So I appreciate them. I want to say thank you to my patrons. You know, you guys keep this channel going. Um, I'm in debt to you for that. That's, uh, uh, that's unbelievable what you guys have done. I really appreciate it. But that's all I've got today. 
and I'll talk with y'all again soon.